sugar that's good for you. Learn about it next on today's Creation Moments. And now, here's our Creation Moments host, Ian Taylor. We hear many warnings these days that tell us not to eat this food, it's full of cholesterol, or that food and you'll get something else. It's easy to come to the conclusion that the curse of sin has turned the whole creation against us. But God is merciful. He has given us the ability to learn about many of the beneficial foods and medicines that he has given us. One good example of this is xylitol, also known as birch sugar. Earlier research showed that birch sugar, used more in Europe than America as a sweetener, actually keeps the bacteria that cause tooth decay from growing. Based on this, researchers in Finland wondered if birch sugar inhibited any other bacteria. They gave one group of preschool children sucrose paste chewing gum and a similar group birch sugar based gum five times a day. The group that used the birch sugar gum had only about half as many ear infections. Scientists aren't sure how the birch sugar reduces ear infections. They suspect that it somehow prevents the bacteria that cause the infections from attaching to the cells in the mouth and the ear. If this is what happens, there is an added bonus. Since the sugar does not attack the bacteria directly, they would be unlikely to develop any defense against it. In his mercy, God has given us more than just solutions to our problems in this life. Through his Son, Jesus Christ, he grants us the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. And through his word, he tells us what salvation means. Creation Moments exists to glorify God by presenting scientific evidence for the literal truth of the Bible. For more information, visit our website at creationmoments.com or call us toll-free at 1-800-42-BIBLE and join us again for another Creation Moments, proclaiming evidence of God's truth.